Hey, what up America? It's your boy, Bouchon Glover, Better Black America TV. Today is February 8th, 2019, and you just have tuned into a Better Black America TV Entertainment Edition. Now, if you've been living under a rock, you might not know what's going on, but since you have it, it's all over the social media, it's all over the blogs, it's all over TV. Gail King is trending her interview with R. Kelly, the troubled artist R. Kelly. Now, this is more on a serious note because, you know, it, it, it has a remnants of something that, you know, from a history, a person who studies history and a person who um, under uh, lives under the banner of Black America, which is an acronym for uh, Black, Latin, Asian, Caucasian kinsmen, you know, but it does has a it's, it's an empowerment for the race. You know, just like today we're uh, celebrating uh, International Women's Day. You know, that's not black women. That's just women international in general. And black men in the black race have supported every um movement from the feminist movement, the LBGTQ community, uh, even the immigrants, you know, you got brothers out there saying, you know, don't build a wall, you know, which is OK. But we living in some dark times right now, and especially here in this nation, uh, because some things are supposed to have been going on and some things were supposed to uh, come to fruition from a pro uh, from a prophecy perspective that still will. But it's going to take some uh, men of courage to stand up and uh, uh, be a part of the process. And before we can move forward, we have to understand what's going on in this nation. Now, politically, uh, we're as black men, you know, we're basically written out of being written out of history. And we're, we, we're not even in American politics, because if you look at the Democratic Party, the Democratic Party uh, gave the illusion that it was going to support uh, the black race, but somehow they debunked us down to an ethnicity and now they're moving full forward with their movement and they're leaving not only black men, but the entire black race behind. So therefore we have to stand up for the race. So when you look at the political um, agenda, you know, it's biblical. It's Sadducees versus uh, Pharisees and one's liberals, one conservative. But at the end of the day, uh, our ancestors built this nation on uh, free labor in the form of slavery. And we're going to have to not only demand, but basically take what's ours, not by force, but by using the same ploys uh, that they have used. And that's basically to um, be educated. You know, start, it's time to start thinking outside of the box. It's time to um, deal with the slave mentality. And it's time to understand that we are the righteous people. We are God's people. I mean, all souls belong to God. But if you look at uh, historically uh, the plight of black America, more importantly, um, the destruction of black men, you know, that's where we are today. And when I look at R. Kelly, his situation and it, it's you know, it's not funny to me personally because I am a man and I've been accused of things that I have not done. I'm not saying R. Kelly's innocent by no stretch of the imagination. Am I defending him to any magnitude? So let's not get that twisted. But we have to be honest with ourselves and say, wait a minute. This reminds us of something. You know, it, it reminds me of a public lynching. Um, you know, in, in America, like I said, we have a, a dark history that we're going to have to talk about because I believe the smokescreen is totally designed to actually to actually uh, erase the bad part of American history and to promote this agenda to show uh, to toxic masculinity, the destruction of black men so we can move forward and have some type of ethnic cleansing because the black race still have a final chapter to be written in history. So while the Republic of America is moving on and, you know, economically um, uh, innovative, um, the, the, the movement to, you know, get America to that next level, we're not participating because somehow we're being programmed and, and hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray. That's why we're running amok to, to believe something that somebody tells us without doing our due diligence to actually move forward, you know, and not, and, 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 and not, and, and not ask the right questions, you know, because we are suffer from a, I wouldn't say mental illness, but 
we've been programmed the wrong way. And it's pretty much a slave mentality, you know, but this year, why this year is all these things are going on because it seems as though um, the public lynchings are still in effect. And when I say public lynchings, you know, it, it goes back to the to the South. It goes back to uh, a time where they celebrated hanging um, you know, black men on trees and it was a public event. They would dress up and they would go to it and they will, you know, hang a black man primarily based on accusations. Because if you commit a crime, you do your time. If you do something wrong, you go ahead and you go handle your business. But to put them on public display and then to somehow convince black people to have that same lynch mob mentality, because that's what I see. And it hurts my heart when I look at it. I'm not like I said, some of these accusations could be true, not true, but some of these things in terms of factual information like double jeopardy, because I watched the interview with Gail King um, being tried. He beat that case. Um, now these other accusations are coming up, but it seems as though they put them in a vault and said, you know what, let's wait until the year 2019 and we'll put all of this information out to the general public because we want to put up a smoke screen so the black race can be can evaporate and not know what the truth of the matter is because the year 2019 is very significant. It's very significant. And I'm going to be honest with you. So when I say the public lynching, why now? First, it was Bill Cosby. I mean, you got Harvey Weinstein to name a few that, that, that participated in the same crimes that Bill Cosby has been convicted of. I and mean, Bill Cosby did a lot of his dirt at the Playboy Mansion. It was an era, a hyper, hyperdelic era, era, and you know, where they would do designer drugs and they would party in the disco era and all of that stuff. So why Bill Cosby? He's an Ameri he was an American icon, especially for the black community. I couldn't wait to watch the Cosby show. Look at Michael Jackson, God rest his soul. He's not even alive right now. And then look in the, this year, they're taking down another icon. And then you got R. Kelly, because when R. Kelly would come out with a hit, you know, a summer jam or 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 one of those, you know, those love making songs. I mean, we we we're dealing with we have a vibration in our body as black people. We're, we're rhythmic. That's why the movie uh, Black Panther, they called it vibranium. OK, because of the vibration, you know, we we we're, we beat we, we move to this to the beat of the drum collectively and the manipulators of the world, the evildoers of the world. And I'm not calling any names. They know how to manipulate the system, because if you look at the case, there's winners and then there's losers in all situations, especially when you're dealing with two parts or two parties or two different sides. Now, the loser in this case is R. Kelly. So who? capitalizing who's the winner in this situation with our cat. I'm not talking about the females. I'm talking about Jesse, Jesse Smullett, because we're not talking about him right now because Jesse Smullett is a part of the LBGTQ community. He's a part of that democratic movement to somehow, uh, um, uh, demasculate society and push an entirely different agenda that uh, agenda that's actually anti-American, you know, and that's the truth. And look this up. Jesse Smollett's mother's last name is Harris. It's on Wikipedia. It, they, they could erase it. I don't know what they could do, but his mother's last name is Harris. You got Kamala Harris. And if you go on the Internet, Google Jesse Smollett, Kamala Harris, you're going to see Jesse Smollett with Obama, Michelle Obama, Barack Obama, all the senators, as if he was going to be the first gay president. And he was going to be a champion like Rodney King was because he fought off his his fighters and all this stuff. But it comes out to be a hoax. And then. The basically the naysayers and the shot callers was like, you know, that we don't see all oh, this time. It's time to run at R. Kelly. Let's run some damage control. So I see this thing being a little bigger than what it is. So you have to be able to look through the red tape and and somehow um, allow your mind to just wrap, you know, wrap your mind around the truth, because the truth will make us free, not set us free. The truth shall make us free. And we have to live in spirit and in truth in this time, because that's the only way we're going to be have a defense mechanism and become offensive against the evildoers of the world, because the framers of the world, the framers of this nation, they didn't have um, 
a, a plan for black America. They thought that we were, you know, they could just keep on doing what they were, what they were doing. They couldn't genocide us like they did the Aztecs. They couldn't genocide us like they did, you know, the indigenous natives in South America and, and, and the lighter shade or the Indians or, you know, the red Indians, because they could not do anything with us because we're the strongest creatures on this planet. And I say that no offense to anybody else, but I don't think I would pay twenty five thousand dollars to watch a white person or a Asian person do anything. But they'll spend twenty five, thirty thousand dollars to look at an athlete run up and down a basketball court and sweat and be in awe of this specimen of a human being. But then they'll shoot me or another brother on the block. That's our brother. Those are our brothers and we all have an ability. But as a race. Our race is more important than our gender. OK, sisters, we need you. You know, I know there's a feminist movement, but that's not a, femi a, a feminist movement. It's a white woman's movement. There's an LBGTQ community. That's that's not an agenda for black people. That's an agenda for white gay men. OK, supported by feminist women. OK, and the race, black race trumps your disposition. I'm heterosexual. So if I go have a menage a trois, you know, or I get with some female or whatever, you know, that's my personal business. I'm not going to put it out there in the streets. You know, I don't want to be judged by it. So I'm not going to sit back and say, hey, fornication now, fornication forever. Not going to do that. So who you sleep with, who you love, who you be with is your business. There's nobody judge you. God loves everybody. So what I'm saying is your race trumps your sexual disposition because I, be I believe uh, Sandra Bland. Uh, she was part of the LBGTQ community. She's a sister, though. OK, now, if five black gay men are walking down the street, all they see is five niggas. They don't see five gay men. OK, so that's why black is more important. And I'm going to go ahead and close with this. The public lynching, the slave, the public lynching, the lynch mob mentality that we should not have. It's time for sympathy and compassion, not for R. Kelly. But what they're trying to do with our race, because in the year 2019, significant, it's significant because it's exactly 400 years. OK, of the transatlantic slave being here in the in, from a biblical perspective or prophetic perspective. The Bible says Abraham's seed will be stolen from their land and they will dwell in a foreign land for 400 years and say approximately. And you can find that in the uh, actually the apostles and you can find it in Genesis. It's in there twice. So it's a biblical curse. So this year, August 20th, the curse will be over. So now as a race, we have to write that chapter. We have to get on board and we have to start doing our due diligence for the race because that's the only way equality can be in full effect. Because the illusion of it, we know when you um, um, put leaders and fallen soldiers and, and, and put them, make them icons, you know, and to t somehow give them a street and brainwash us into making us think that, you know, we've overcame. But we haven't overcame until we have, you know, from a financial perspective, you know, banking, produce, manufacture, distribute. You know, we should be able to have jobs for all our young boys in high school that's getting out of school. We should be a part of the future of America with the apprentice programs. Our public schools should be having some type of coding from K to 12. We need to be a part of the operation moving forward. And the only way we could do it is if we support our race, because united we stand and divided we fall. So divide and conquer. So African-American is a racial slur to me because it disconnects me to every melanated person on this planet. It disconnects me because there's Afro-Latinos, there's Cubans, there's there's Puerto Ricans. You know, there's Indians. There's all types of black people on this planet. That's our brothers and sisters. But when you say African-American, that's the disconnect. That is the total disconnect, because if, if you're from Somalia, if you're from Nigeria, that's Africa. And you come to this country and you say, I'm Somalian American or I'm Nigerian American. Why the black man that has indigenous native blood rolling through his veins somehow is classified as an African American when he's never been there, never had an I never thought about going there and don't even know how to call it on the phone. But I'm going to go ahead and keep it short. It's 15 minutes, man of knowledge and knowledge is power and God's people shall not perish due to the lack of it. So with that being said, man, have a good day. Happy Friday to you. We keep this content going, man. So now it's just power. So we got to do what we got to do. All power to all people. Peace out.